tuning in to Amy's Crypt. Today I'm going to take you on a tour around the most haunted places in York, England, which is rumoured to be the most haunted city in all of Europe. It's an awesome place full of all old medieval structures, such as a wall that surrounds the entire city, which is actually what I'm standing on now. But that's enough of that. Let's go check out its ghost stories. Number 10, Lund's Court. I am currently standing in Lund's Court, which is formerly known as Mad Alice Lane. And the reason being for that, it is thought to be haunted by Alice Smith, who is seen commonly gliding up and down the alleyway. Now, Alice Smith was actually executed at York Castle in 1825 for her crime of being insane. So let's go take a look. Number nine, 41 Stone Gate. So this is our next stop, 41 Stone Gate. These days 41 Stone Gate is actually a lovely little antique store, but it was once the home of a wealthy doctor who used to throw lavish parties all the time. His young daughter, who was just eight years old, actually died within the house and is now said to haunt it. She fell from the very top all the way down to the bottom after leaning over the banister to spy on the party. Number eight, Ye Old Star Inn. So this is the Ye Old Star Inn, which is one of the most notoriously haunted places in York. The building actually dates back to 1644, though the cellars are actually a lot thought to be a lot older, which is where the first haunting takes place. Supposedly there's always screams coming from the cellars, which is thought to be from soldiers who were treated there or even died there because it was used as a makeshift hospital during the English Civil War. There are also two resident ghost cats and an old lady said to haunt the inn. Number seven, Micklegate Bar. Right now I'm actually standing within Micklegate Bar, which is the main entrance through York's massive medieval wall that surrounds the city from the south. Now this is a bit of a creepy place because it is actually where they would display the heads or other body pieces of traitors or wrongdoers on spikes just as a warning to other people who may break the law. But it is none of their ghosts that haunt this area, it is the ghost of a little girl named Sarah, who is the daughter of a barbican, which is the person who looks over this gate. Now, the story goes that she had responsibility for her father's keys, but lost them. As they were very important, she spent the rest of her life looking for them, and it is told that when she found the keys, she died. Now, she has been seen all along this area, and is the reason why this place is thought to be so haunted. All right guys, off to our next stop. Number six, Bedern. Right now I'm standing in the suburb of York known as Bedern. This area is supposedly quite haunted because many, many years ago an orphanage existed here which had some terrible, terrible things happen at it. The man who was responsible uh, for caring for the children at this orphanage was very greedy and he was also had a bad reputation for being a drunk. Now a lot of the money that he gained to care for these children was spent on himself which unfortunately led to many of the kids dying out of hunger. Now, supposedly he buried a lot of their bodies around this area and some of them were actually uncovered as a lot of new properties were built around here. But during the winter when the ground was too icy for him to dig into, he was said to even store them in a cupboard in the basement of the orphanage where they would rot and decay until he could properly dispose of them. This whole area is said to be haunted by those children and a lot of the locals will report hearing screams and wails of pain from the kids throughout the night. Number 
Number five, York Minster. Just behind me is the door to one of the most stunning and most haunted places in York, the York Minster. It uh, has a few ghost stories. The most famous happened in 1823 when a couple of ladies were separated inside during a guided tour that they were taking of the cathedral. Now, they seen a man in a naval suit come up to them and he walked right up to one of the ladies, whispered something in her ear and then disappeared. It is said that that was actually that woman's brother who had died at sea and returned to tell her that there is life after death due to a pact that they made whilst still living. Now, this place is also haunted by a dog whose disembodied barks can be heard from time to time, who uh, the poor little fellow was bricked up inside of the walls, supposedly. And then we have uh, another ghost who is often seen sitting on the pew listening to sermons. Number four, York Brewery. So I'm currently sitting in the York Brewery, which has a very cool ghost story, which is related to this beer. So it's said that one of the now former employees that did work here had a few drinks after his shift, went down to the cellar and fell asleep. When he woke up, he saw the ghost of a Roman soldier walk past him. And now that scared him so much that he ran off and never returned again. But that story inspired this, which is the Centurion Ghost Ale. Cheers. Number three, the treasurer's house. I am now about to tell you what is perhaps York's most famous ghost story. It is associated with the treasurer's house, which is just behind me. The ghost story is set back in 1953 when a man named Harry Martindale was doing some works, plumbing works, in the basement of this place. Now, he heard the sound of a horn off in the distance and just shrugged it off, kept working, and didn't think much of it. This horn kept getting ever increasingly louder and louder, though. And then soon, he looked over his shoulder and seen a Roman horse cart and then a whole troop of Roman soldiers walking through the basement with him. Strangely, they were all cut off at the knees. Now, his story gained a lot of weight years later when the ruins of an old Roman road were actually discovered underneath the treasurer's house, which suggests why all the soldiers were cut off at the knees. Number two, the Plague House. The next place I'm about to take you to is known locally as the Plague House, but it is actually number five, College Street. This is thought to be one of the most haunted places in York with the most commonly seen ghost. The house has a small window on the front where the apparition of a small girl is often seen. She's always clawing and scratching at the window as if she's trying to get out. Now a lot of passers-by sight her knock on the door of the people that live at the house really concerned asking hey what's wrong with your daughter but the funny thing is the people that live there do not have a young daughter so the story of this young girl goes that uh, the family who once lived in the house many many years ago was really super fearful of contracting the black plate what they did was they sent out their young daughter to run errands such as getting uh, groceries from the local market or any supplies they needed and bringing them back to the house. Now one day she returned and her mother found her with uh, black boils all underneath her eyes, very sick, very fearful. She locked her in her bedroom without telling her, put her to sleep, went and spoke to her husband about what she had seen uh, was wrong with her daughter. That night they fled York. They put a big red X on the door of the house to warn other people of what was inside and left their daughter to die alone inside her room. Now the sad thing about this story is a lot of passers-by would have seen this little girl, you know, begging for help at the window, but everyone was too scared to enter and assist her because of this big red X. Number 
before I announce number one, make sure to hit subscribe. Number one, the Golden Fleece Inn. Right now I'm sitting in the beer garden of the Golden Fleece Pub, which is said to be one of the most haunted places in York. I'll take you inside and give you a look around in just a sec, but I really want to go over what makes this place so haunted. It has three really prevalent ghost stories. The first is from Lady Alice Peckett, who used to actually live next door and was the wife of the Mayor of York. After passing away, she's been sighted all throughout the Golden Fleece, just walking around. Then we've got a Canadian airman who, after World War II, was staying upstairs in the top bedroom. He somehow fell out of the top window to the street below, breaking his neck, and has since been sighted in that bedroom many, many times. And then we have one-eyed Jack who hangs out at the bottom bar and is usually seen wearing a 16th century uh, red coat. So we've got quite a few ghost stories and they really embrace their haunted history. There's a bunch of skeletons just hanging out at the bar and sitting in the beer garden at some of the tables as well. So I really love to show you around because this place seems like a lot of fun. Thank you so much for watching. I'd love to know your thoughts on these haunted places or whether I've missed any. So please leave me a comment below. If you did enjoy the video, please remember to give it a like and subscribe. If you're looking for more haunted content, head to amyscrypt.com. But remember, until next time, stay spooky.